Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to the Tech Me Show. Today we are going to be learning what? About the new Outlook! Ah! And what do I mean? <laughs> Sorry for that if I scared you. But Outlook.com is now released and pretty much I'm sure that's the new Hotmail uh, look. I could be wrong unless this is something that's going to strictly be cloud based for uh, the new office um not necessarily office 365 maybe it's the cloud office i'm not quite sure but it is quite exciting looking so let's take a look at this guys um as you see you got your email and tons of ads tons of ads here look at this i mean they are interactive ads look at that you roll over and there is something there that is kind of nice um how does it know i wear glasses hmm Interesting, interesting. Is it spying on me? No. Uh, so let's take a look. Junk mail, obviously, none here. I emptied it. And we have our access to our documents, uh, which I don't really have any, do I? Photos, I'm not sure I want to click that. Uh, kidding. Um, but for instance, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what Microsoft has to say, saying uh, um, my Windows Azure account being ready to expire which I funny uh already have a full year but anyways um look at the new way it looks I mean it it is pretty clean looking am I right and that may of course be the way that they've designed uh this uh email for me but you have your categories which is nice I mean look at all these new options here they really are helping you figure out how to keep up to date um uh, and how to manage your life a little bit better. You have your moving, which is nice, your usual stuff. Uh, sweep, move everything, unsubscribe to things, schedule a cleanup, which is very nice. You have your junk, phishing scam, my friend's been hacked, help your friend's account if you think they've been hacked. That's really cool. Phishing scam, uh, obviously. Uh, report a spammer. That's really cool. They're really taking uh, the initiative. Uh, and obviously mark things as junk, delete, reply, reply, reply all forward, uh, and your usual stuff. But uh, now I notice here, this allows you, I believe, to give feedback. Or, no, oh, I'm sorry, a new conversation. So now you have socializing right in your Outlook slash Hotmail account. That's kind of cool. And here's your breeding pain and whatnot. You can have it on off to the right I do not like the reading pane I hate that and I think everybody should have that turned off especially if there's something malicious that could possibly load right um, yeah I, I'm not a fan of that so turn that crap off um, nonetheless let's go through the features real quick shall we we can change the color that's really cool to me um, I, I like dark look and whatnot um, but yeah, see, there's the dark blue. Um, let's go ahead for the orange. That's got to be bright. It is bright, but it's a nice looking color, right? Um, but anyways, and let's go into the more mail settings. And there is a feedback option. So, this is not very intuitive as far as uh, uh, looking at stuff. Uh, but you have a safe and block senders. That's pretty cool. Advanced privacy settings. Let's check that out, shall we? Um, I guess autocomplete is good. Deleted message. Let me recover deleted messages. That's good or bad. If you have a girlfriend, wife, <laughs> that might be bad. Uh, pop and deleting downloaded messages. That's kind of important, right? Um, to let programs delete messages from Outlook or not. I like that. Uh, especially when I have it on my mobile phone and I'm deleting items, right? Uh, messaging history, create an Outlook alias. That's cool. Rename your email. Let's see what that is. That's intriguing. If it will load, we've got to put in our password. Everybody close your eyes. Okay. So, rename your email address. You might not want to change this email address if you've used it to set up a Windows phone. On your phone features and blah, blah, blah. Huh, that's very interesting. So now you can change to an Outlook.com email account. Well, you know what that tells me. 
new elite names that might not make sense to anybody if uh, you weren't back in the AOL days. Elite names being screen names. If you had the two character or uh, three chars and whatnot. But anyways, let's go back to the mail settings. And uh, automated vacation replies. We all have that if you're used to having your own servers and whatnot. Mail forwarding. That's nice. Send receiving email from other accounts. That's nice. Um... Message font and signature, eh, I'm not too worried about that. Reply to address again, eh, attachments, I guess, you know, but reading pane, please guys, don't ever enable the reading pane. Um, active view settings, group by conversation and preload messages. Now, this could be important. Yeah, uh, don't preload messages. I don't like that. And group messages by conversation, I like that. Especially if I send 30 million emails to the same person. Now, we respect your privacy settings on third-party networks. Do you now? Uh, we couldn't find any public information for you on Facebook. Thank God. Or uh, Twitter. Thank God. And now, here we have show public content from third-party networks. Mm, not sure I really want that, but I guess they're really trying to make Outlook social. Uh, and trying to bring that whole social thing uh, to you. Uh, Outlook also shows extra content for your friends from networks that you've connected to, their names are there. I don't think I'd want that, but let's go ahead and see what it means. Facebook, LinkedIn. Huh. And they're all attached to this. I should probably look into that because I'm not too sure about that account. But nonetheless, we've checked out Outlook. This looks good, guys. And those at Microsoft... It's looking pretty good. I'm uh, I'm excited. This looks good. Anyways, this is Lance Seidman with the Tech Me Show showing you the new Outlook.com. Check it out, guys. Sign in and hurry up and get your new Outlook.com account. Get a cool name. I'm going to go try and get Lance. I'll see you later, guys.